Alrighty, got past the crash area. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't crash again. Warmth and comfort to you. Is that what they say? Not yet. But I'm trying to make it a thing. The new greeting for the hibernation festival. Pretty festive, right? Uh, I guess so. Oh, I don't know if I want to talk to you guys. Let me celebrate in peace, squirt. Yeah, can't you see we're celebrating here? That's right, celebrating. Oh. Did you know that today is the hibernation festival? Isn't that great? I really want to make a hazelnut candle today. Really big one. Have you ever made a hazelnut candle before? I have not. I didn't know there was something you had to make. Mr. Hydrich, I wasn't expecting to see you here. But of course, I never miss a hibernation festival. It's a time when the whole community comes together. And the economy is stimulated. Fantastic day. There's also the small matter of my participation in the stew contest, of course. You like to cook? Cooking relaxes. Cooking satisfies. Cooking has purpose. Meaning. Which is to say... That's great. I'll be cheering for you too, of course. Even though me is my favorite. Ah, naturally. Team loyalty is essential. And in the end, it's the stew that wins, not the support. I look forward to an invigorating competition. Good luck. Thank you, thank you. And a joyful hibernation festival to you. You too. Tomorrow we work hard. Today, we celebrate. Oh, hey! Carl, how's it going? Never better. Did you know they've got hot cocoa with brandy here? Okay, how about everything else? I feel better than ever. I finally have time to think about the important things in life. Like hot cocoa with brandy. I even slept in late today. Man, I needed that. I'm not leaving here until all the stalls run out of food and all the kegs are drained. Did you know Mia's taking part in the stew contest today? Really? No kidding. No kidding. Our Mia's going to be the champion stew maker this year. Old Culbert might as well pack up her gruel and head home right now. This calls for another drink. I need to line my stomach with alcohol before I start scarfing down Mia's stew after all. Um, isn't it usually the other way around? Hey, what do I know? I'm not a doctor. True. You're way more confident than any doctor I know. I wish I didn't have the night shift tonight. Oh there, don't get frowny, Finno face. My Fino Fano Finley friend. You and me, we're celebrating today. I feel great. Hey, have you seen Giliano around? Not yet. We want to serve his extra foamy craft beer today. I'm gonna go find the old scoundrel. I'm getting thirsty. See you later, Radiator. Hey, Giliano. <laughs> Does anyone know where I can get a decent drink around here? And he's gone. Hello, Grey Flower. Grey what? Oh, nothing. Did you just call me a flower? Oh. Well, look who it is. You've got the day off too then? Not quite, sadly. Night shift. Okay, well it's still cool that you stopped by. I hope that decision doesn't come back to haunt me tomorrow. I guess I'll depend on what else you've got planned for today. Haven't I seen you before? You work at St. Ursula's too, right? That's right, internal medicine, third floor. I'm Lisa, surgeon, second floor. Pleased to meet you. No work today? Not until tonight. Night shift. How are things in the surgery? Oh, you know, same old, same old. Old Linwood spends all day acting like a big shot without ever actually lifting a finger to help. Benny and uh, Renee keep the whole place running. Who's on shift for you today? I think Dr. Linwood and Benjamin are. Maybe you'll have time to drop by later. If you do, say hi to Benny for me. For now, I'm going to treat myself to a tall mug of nougat punch. It's great to be able to take a breather for once. Enjoy your evening and happy hibernation festival. You too, safe journey to St. Ursula's later. Mia. Uh... <gasps> Wait. Is this the candles? Hello. I oh, hope you're enjoying the festivities. Can I interest you in our handmade fall treaty towels? We still have a few cast. Uh, castanets too? Or how about a traditional hazelnut candle? Right, it's only a moment to get things ready. Why don't you come back later? I think I'll be ready after the stew contest. Oh, okay, good. Now I know where they are. How are you feeling? Are you ready? 
Hey, Mia? Anyone home? Two tablespoons of truffle powder. Or was it 12? Emily, was it two or 12? You have to tell me. I don't remember anymore. I feel sick. Calm down, Mia. Take a deep breath. Okay, okay. Okay. Are you okay now? I think so. How many spoons of truffle powder go into the stew? Done. There's no truffle powder or truffle in the stew at all. That's better. You can do this, Mia. You've done a great job with everything so far. And I've been looking forward to sampling your stew all evening. You're gonna win, I just know it. You really think so? You bet, it's gonna be amazing. If I can help you in any way, just say. I'll be right here watching you cook everyone else off the stage. Yes, we've got this. Thank you, I feel a little better already. Maybe I'll have another swig of my drink first. Whatever works for you. Um. Uh, yeah, ready? Ugh. Yeah, I'm ready. Rooting for you, Mia. Thank you. Fellow porcupine... Pineans? May I have your attention for a moment? A happy hibernation festival to all of you. Today is a special day for me, as I have the honor of officially opening the hibernation festival. For the ninth time in a row. You'd think this would be a cakewalk for me by now, but I'm still nervous. Nervous with joy. Seeing all of you celebrating with you, this is always the highlight of my year. I look into your faces and think back to all the wonderful years we've had in this town. I've seen many of you grow up. New faces have joined us. Old ones have left. And me... I'm still here. For that, I am truly grateful. I don't want to ramble on too long. After all, we're all here to party, right? I just have one more thing to ask of you. As you enjoy your delicious drinks today, and treat yourselves to a hearty bowl of hot stew, or gossip and laugh with your loved ones, spare a thought for those who cannot be with us today. Those who have passed away over the course of the last year. And also for those who are now, or at work right now, or simply uh, somewhere else. Think of them. When you see them again, tell them how much fun you had today. Make them turn green with envy. Alright, let's get on with it. I, Adele Von Wittersteed, can feel the hairs on the back of my neck standing up in anticipation. I hereby declare this year's Hibernation Festival open. Here's to all of you. Cheers, you old biddy. Cheers. Here's to us. Turn on the water. Oh, wait. <laughs> Turn on the water. I actually got it working. Just like every year. Hot water is passed through the pipes of the town fountain to keep us warm and serve as a base for the stews. Good luck to everyone taking part, and bon appetit to all of our stew samplers. Here's to us. Candle? I guess he said after, right? These nut candles are just firming up. They should be fresh and ready to go right after the contest, if not before. Good. Look at our Mia. Go Mia, give Hydrich a good roasting. And Sergei too. He's been on my blacklist ever since he took the fried corn off the cob. Corn on the cob off the menu. Show him how it's done. Look at Adele bopping away. I hope I'm like that when I grow up. Don't tell anyone, but a tear came to my eye when she was speaking just now. Anyway, I really hope you enjoy the festival. Too bad you can't stay to the end, but have yourself a great time all the same. See you around, Finny. It was Finny Schminny, but... Oh my goodness, look at you go, girl. Get it. We are hungry. We are hungry! And thirsty, too, apparently. 
hazelnut, hazelnut, hazelnut. Oh, I don't know who I was just speaking to there. I was speaking to someone. Oh, it's you. There you are. I was just warming up my voice to cheer Chloe on. Want a sneak preview? Um, yes, maybe? Okay, here it comes. Go, Chloe, go! Everyone else's stew is woe. Everyone else's stew is woe? I may need to work on my grammar. I'm rooting for everyone in the contest. See, so you're rooting for Chloe too? Great! I'm selling actually your actual goods from our store today. Pens, green cards, wrapping paper. But if I'm honest, my thoughts are elsewhere. All I can think about is Chloe winning that trophy again. Hey, Doc. Fancy bumping into you here. Good to see you. How are you? Lungs doing well? Couldn't be better. I've got this cool spray thing now. I just keep it in my pocket all the time. And when I'm out of breath, I take a quick breath from it. It's awesome. Yay, awesome inhalers. I'm glad to hear that. But lay off the cigarettes, okay? I know it's hard on special occasions, but your lungs will thank you. Sure thing, Doc. I really don't want to end up back in hospital. Is the internet working better now, at least? Afraid not. Grim. Um... Uh, how do I start... Oh. Sergei? I, I didn't know you had a stall here, too. Of course I do. I can't deprive the town of my street food. Oh, this reminds me of my days as a young traveling chef. I've heard the grills on so many streets in so many cities, but don't be fooled. This is just the warm-up. Today, I too find myself in the orchestra pit flavors, allowing myself to be entranced by the bubbling of the hot pots. Today, there will be no long symphony of several movements. On this day, it all comes down to a single chord. The perfect note. And I will call this masterpiece Sergei's famous pepper stew. Sounds delicious. You are blessed, don't you see? You are one of the lucky few who may get a chance to sample a bowl today. This is one hibernation festival you'll never forget. Sorry, is there a way to get up on stage? There we go. Just stick to the recipe, same as usual. Ration, way, don't overseason. You're doing great, Mia. Can I taste it? Finley! What's wrong? Finley! Yes! The pickle weed! What's a pickle weed? My secret ingredient! The spice that makes my tomato stew special. And I forgot to get it. I don't have any Finley. What am I gonna do? Can't leave my stew. Everything's already simmering. Time's running out too. Don't worry, I um I'll get some for you. Where do you get something like that? At the grocery store, but that closed hours ago. Huh, any other ideas? Yes, you see Roman Hydrich over there at the front? Yes. Pickleweed is his main ingredient. I don't know why. It must make his stew terribly bitter. But knowing him, I'm sure he won't give any of it away. I'll ask him. You just keep doing what you're doing. Just a few more minutes, dear contestants. It's time to drop your spoons. Oh no, did you hear that? Don't worry, I'll be right back. Really? Oh, thank you. Hello. Mr. Hydrich, may I disturb you for a moment? You know I'm always happy to listen to my team's concerns, but I still need a moment or two for my stew. And as you just heard, time is of the essence. I need some of your pickle weed. What? From my ingredients? Yes, could you spare some? You'd be doing me a huge favor. No, sorry, out of the question. You're a very likable young man. And I would like to help. Truly, I would. My ingredients have been measured out precisely according to my recipe. If I change even the slightest thing, it will affect the taste. I'm sorry. Oh. Okay. Thanks, anyway. Don't mention it. Sorry, Mia. <laughs> Serge, are you good? You're, like, steaming over here. Mr. Hydrich can't spare any of his ingredients. I'm sorry. That's all right. It's my fault for forgetting it, after all. Thanks for trying, anyway. I wonder if there's anything I could have done differently here. My young colleague. Hmm? I have been thinking. You're a part of St. Ursula's Hospital. Just like myself and our other young colleague back there. We have to stick together. 
that in mind, I've decided to give you some of my pickle weed. Really? That's very kind of you. But of course, I can't just simply give my ingredients away. So I would also like to ask a favor of you. Okay, okay, what do you need? Like a bottle of caraway liquor from the wine stand. Okay, no problem. Just head over there and buy you one. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. This caraway liquor is very special. The owners produce only one bottle of it. Oh, I'm guessing it's insanely expensive then. Expensive? Not at all. In fact, the wine seller is looking to give it away. Oh? Yes, it's a prize of sorts for the first person to say the secret phrase to her. The secret phrase. Exactly. It's sort of like a password. The solution to a riddle. Do you have any idea what it's about? No, but talk to the person at the wine stand. I'm sure you'll find some answers there. Okay, I'll get you the bottle. Excellent. Even though it would have been nicer if you'd helped us for free. Wine stand? I'm interested in winning the bottle of caraway liquor. Oh, really? Then tell me. The red trees have left the forest. Red trees? Oh, you don't know the answer? Apparently not, no. Okay, okay. There are a few other people here who are also playing the game. Maybe one of them can give you the answer. How do I find out who knows the answer? That's part of the puzzle. But I'm gonna give you a little something to help you get started. Now pay attention. The blue shells glitter prettily in the morning sun. That's it? That's it. Take a look around, talk to people. And good luck. Thanks. I have a feeling it's to do with the badges they have on here. So maybe I'm looking for s oh my god, there's a timer? Why is there a timer? Well, pull yourself together. Happy hibernation, you old grouch. Oh, what the heck? Happy hibernation festival, squirt. You too, Pina. Yeah, you too. Have a good one. Just don't bother us, okay? I, I don't think Pina was meant to yell from across the festival. Okay, is there someone wearing a blue badge? Oh, wait a minute. Pina? The blue shells glitter prettily in the morning sun. Ah, I know the answer to that. Hold on. They hide when the yellow sun grows too hot. No idea what it's supposed to mean, though. I'll figure it out. Good luck. Okay, so I think we're looking for something yellow now. Oh, you have one, too. Ah, uh, yellow sun. Hide when the yellow sun grows too hot. I know the answer. Green train is almost here. Thank you. And that's gonna be you. Green train is almost here. Well, that sounds familiar. It travels on to the purple sea. Thank you. You're welcome, good luck. Okay, purple. Travels on to the purple sea. The answer to that is... The red trees have left the forest. I hope that helps you. It does! Thank you, Susie! Ah, oh, you've returned. So, do you have the answer? Hold on a second. Are you playing the game too? Why, of course! There's no rule against it after all. So, do you have the answer? I, um... Yes? The red trees have left the forest. Now they grow on the golden beach. Incredible! That's the right answer! You've won! And in record time, too! Really? Yay! Congratulations! Be surprised, a bottle of caraway liquor. Thank you very much. I've got to dash. Have a good evening. You too, my friend. Don't drop the bottle. Yay! I'm not gonna bounce my way to the stage because I'd probably end up dropping it. <laughs> Mr. Hydrich, I have the liquor! Very good, my young colleague. I can always rely on Team St. Ursula. Can I have the pickle weed now? Of course, you've held up your end of the bargain, so shall I. Here's your prize, a bundle of the finest pickle weed. Thank you, sorry, I have to go. I have to run now. Mia! Look! Got the ingredients! 
What? Really? That's awesome. You're the best sous chef in the world. We can talk more later. Time's running out. We can... Oh. I'm just gonna repeat myself twice. So, my lovelies. Your time is up. The cooking period is now officially over. Set your wooden spoons to one side and prepare for the tasting. Dig in, folks. Official announcers get first dibs. That was fantastic. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. Don't think I'll ever eat, need to eat again. But before we get to the awards ceremony, there's something I'd like to get off my chest. There are a lot of different people living here in Porcupine. Some have only been here for a short time, others have spent their whole lives here. That's good, and that's the way things should be. Be kind to each other, be grateful, be understanding. If you do that, Porcupine will remain the beautiful place it is. Maybe there's just the melancholy thoughts of an old, old woman. Or maybe I've already had a nougat punch or two. But I love all of you. So before the food coma sets in, let's get to the awards ceremony. Refresh your memory, here are all the participants and their creations. Slowly took us on a wild journey through the world of, uh, Rossini mushrooms. Roman presented you with a spicy pickleweed pot. Isaac whipped up some handmade alphabet soup for our bookworms. Wonderful handwriting, by the way. Our lovely Mia, first time contestant today, gave us a tomato stew that I'm sure has bowled more than a few of you over. Our last candidate is someone we only normally see when we're sick. Sergey, head chef of the cafeteria at St. Ursula's. His entry this year was a fiery hot pepper stew. Okay, that's everyone. Now hold on to your spoons, it's about to get serious. The winner of this year's por uh, porcupine stew contest is... Mia with her fruity spicy tomato stew. Really? Congratulations. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations! What a great stew! That goes for all of you as well. Congratulations on your amazing creations. Congratulations to everyone who got their hands on a bowl. We were really lucky to get to taste such wonderful stews. Now let the celebrations continue. You said it. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. First things first, I'm sorry Mia, two seconds, I'm gonna keep checking back. Ooh, finally done. I couldn't concentrate with all the excitement of the contest in the background. Anyway, can I get you something now? Uh, I was wondering if I could get a hazelnut candle. One hazelnut candle coming right up. What do I owe you? Nothing. Nothing? That's right, everyone gets one hazelnut candle for free if they want it. Oh, that's very nice of you. But doesn't that mean you end up losing money on the candles? Yes, but making hazelnut candles is my favorite hobby, so I really don't mind. Means I need a little while to make them, though. But at least they always smell fantastic. Enjoy your candle. It's very nice of you, thank you. Happy Hibernation Festival. Yay, I got my candle. Yeah, you were awesome. Congratulations. Thanks, do you like the stew? Even better than that, I haven't even tasted it yet. What? Why? because the whole pot got gobbled up straight away. I didn't stand a chance. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, it's no big deal. I could see how delicious it was and the looks on everyone's eyes. Celebrate, Mia, you've earned it. Thanks. A little awkward, actually. All right. Um, let's see here. I think that's everything we really needed. I'm just gonna go try to find Carl. There he is. <laughs> what are you doing? I can't talk to you, apparently. You're just bouncing. You're just having a good time. All right. Well, let's head out. Let's head out. Looking at the time, I think I'm going to have to split this episode into two. Deary me. Probably ending with that crash. <laughs> oh. Mia, yeah, is everything all right? Yes, everything's great. I wanted to give you something. Really? Is there still some of your stew left? No, that was gone in a flash. You've been such a tremendous help to me and I'm so grateful. 
You're always so helpful. It's amazing, really. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that I couldn't have done this without you. Which is why I want you to have my winner's trophy. Really? But you're the one who won it! Yes, but it was uh, as much your victory as it was mine, really. Besides, I wouldn't even know where to put it in my apartment. Thank you, Mia. I feel very honored. How about we share it? It can be one of those trophies that moves from place to place. I'll take it and invite you to dinner sometime, so I can show you my finest cooking skills. Then you can take it home with you and we can cook again at your place. You can take turns with the trophy and the cooking. Okay, yes. Let's take turns. Happy Hibernation Festival of Finley. And to you. Celebrate, you deserve it. Now I need to get going. See you in the morning, good night. Oh, we've had a busy day leading up to work so far. Oh, bless, and there was our save point already. So friends, I am going to have to wrap up here. Um, I probably didn't do a proper outro for the last episode. I'm sorry for that. Um, but I'm just going to end up splitting, I think, this one into two because it's nearly been an hour. <laughs> um, thank you so, so very much for watching, though. I really hope you enjoyed it. When we come back, we're going to be heading into another night shift and we're going to be handing this candle to Irma. So have an amazing one and I will see you all next time.